Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be checking out the Citizen NPC pack from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Uh, the Citizen NPC pack is a massive pack full of everyday characters that you'd see in a city. And I actually reached out to the creators of the pack, Polyphoria, and they were generous enough to send me the pack to review for you guys. And they have also sent me their custom character creator, which I will review in another separate video. So without out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so a couple stats about this pack. You have 40 different characters. Uh, there are a total of 95 different skeletal meshes. All of the characters are obviously rigged to the epic skeleton. The MSRP of the pack is $399.99. And basically, this is what you're all getting in this pack. And one of the main reasons that caught my eye when I was looking at this on the marketplace was the fact that there are so many different outfits and just so many different character types included in this content pack. So we're gonna start over here, over here from the left. So you can see we have basic everyday wear that you'd see on a normal person. So we have a beanie, a watch. You would have a watch on the character as well as tennis shoes. And then we have this jacket here, some glasses, hat. So it comes with a lot of different accessories for the character. And you can very much customize like all of the color regions on the clothing. If you wanted to add your different color tints and things like that. So some sweatpants there. And over here are some of the uh, different outfits as well. We have different type of tennis shoes, a hoodie, and the different hats. For me personally, uh, getting a lot of character clothing was always a challenge. Personally, I was always going to the Daz Marketplace to get some of the Daz uh, character clothing. But what this pack does is it gives you just a massive library of different characters as well as character clothing. So you can see here we have the different suits. So really nice suit and tie there. Okay, and then you can see the different types here and likewise you can always customize the color regions and things like that okay and then back here another suit with different colors so yeah just a lot of different outfits here like I said they are all rigged to the epic skeleton here we have a cop with some traffic vest on Okay, and then over here we have some more of the casual wear. So this is like a police officer, but you can see they have like a leather jacket here and a scarf, the jeans and the shoes, and then a different style hat and some different colors. And then here we have like a construction worker. So he has a hard hat there, some sunglasses, safety vest, really nice detail and like especially like the dirt map and all that stuff so then here in the back we have some of the more casual outfits here so you can see some of the different patterns here and you can even customize things like the logos inside of the material so if you wanted to change that up you can always do that you can see we have some different body types as well and over here we have this doctor so you can see it comes with stethoscope there and a little name tag and we'll actually go here and to the back i don't know what kind of style of clothing this is but i don't know it kind of looks like the artist hat i guess you'd call that but yeah different outfits we got jeans sweatshirt and there are different uh, character face types so i'll show that here in a second as well as uh, different hair types so Again, you can see the different body types here. And then different hair, a military hat there. And then over here we have the different uh, police outfits. So for the female character here. And then the full uh, police officer outfit, uniform. And then one with the vest and the cap. So yeah, I could see you using a lot of these characters for maybe some sort of like GTA open world city game. Just a lot of different characters with uh, various outfits. And you see here we have some firefighters. Pretty cool. 
And then over here we have some of the different doctors and surgeons. So we have the doctor with the lab coat. I'm not sure what you'd call this, I guess, uh, operation gown. I'm not entirely sure. You see it has a mask, some sunglasses there. Then we have another doctor here, female doctor. So you can see the different color regions that you can adjust. And you can see just a normal shirt and tie and some slacks there. And you can see some of the nurse outfits here and the scrubs. And yeah, those are the healthcare workers. Then over here are the different uh, face types. So here are the different male face types here, as well as the different hair types. So you can see the different hairstyles. And over here are the different female uh, face types. And so all the characters are uh, basically modular, so you can swap out the different faces and the different hair types. And then here we have all the different hats and accessories. So some of the different helmets, caps, things like that. Even comes with headphones. Okay, and then over here are the base character models. Three different character types here. Okay, and moving on over here, we have some of the, I guess, general outfits. So this kind of just showcases everything together. So again, we have the firefighter here, police officers, and this is a cool um, outfit I didn't see over there, but uh, basically just a full construction outfit. And then this one, same sort of thing, just like a general worker, the guy in the suit and tie. And then some healthcare workers here. And yeah, so that is all of the different characters and the different outfits that come included with this pack. So I can show you in the content browser here all the different characters. Uh, basically, it's, it's all ready to go if you wanted to choose really any of these uh, characters to play as. So for example, I could do maybe the firefighter here, then click play. So yeah, you can very quickly, uh, since they've already set up all the characters with animations, and with uh, blueprints, you can really quickly just play as any of the characters that you see in the scene here. Uh, again, these are like the, the default third-person character animations, so you could obviously uh, get your own animations off the marketplace and use that with this if you wanted to. In the character parts here, we can see all the different meshes here. And let me zoom up closer. So here are the different mesh parts. Are the different outfits. I don't even think these waiter outfits were technically in the demo level there. So yeah, a couple different bonus things that you guys did not see, as well as, look at this, the clerk. So yeah, I guess there aren't all of the uh, characters in the scene there. Even this chef outfit. So these things look pretty cool. And you can see here some of the different gloves. Okay, and then over here we have the accessories. So things like even the earrings up here. Uh, all the different glasses that you saw on the characters as well as the watches. So they're all rigged to the epic skeleton and to these characters. So they're basically you can just swap them out. And then you can see all the base meshes. So just the arms just the heads or with the full body. Then we have all the different hats and hair options. So you can see there are some combos there. And then even some of the cowboy hats, which I don't think were shown in that little demo level. But yeah, just a lot of different content here and fairly well optimized and well detailed. Like you can see here, this police outfit, just one material slot. So yeah, again, this was the Citizen NPC uh, Mega Pack, and I feel like this video really isn't doing this pack justice. I feel like I need to maybe do some sort of showcase and create all these characters into AI that wander around the streets with uh, different walk animations. I feel like that would be a cool thing to set up 
But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this pack down in the comments down below. And I will be reviewing another marketplace asset from these guys, uh, which is their character editor here. Uh, which I think a lot of you guys are going to be interested in because of all the different morph targets and different customization that you can do with this character editor that also supports uh, meta humans. So yeah, anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.